just type services dot msc in the search box and then open it as a run as administrator select any of the service and then press w i n on your keyboard and it will take you to services which is starting from w search for windows update service and this is the windows update service and it is currently not started it is stopped start the service from here now it is in the running state if your service is started and still you are facing the issue you have to just right click on it and then stop it and then again start it so in this way you can check if windows restarting windows update service is resolving your issue or not if the issue is resolved then it's okay you can skip the methods if issue is not resolved then you have to follow another methods now you have to follow another method and this particular method needs administrator rights and you must log into admin account to follow these steps so type cmd in the search box and then open it as a run as administrator it will ask you for user account control permissions and then click on yes now it is open with a run as a sorry now it is open with administrator rights and now we can do administrative task on this command prompt we have to now we have to rename the folder which is responsible for downloading windows updates and then distribute it to your computer and to do this we have to first of all stop the service which is windows update service so net space stop space w a u s e r v is the command to stop the windows update service now windows update service is stop and now we have to rename software distribution folder and to rename software distribution folder which is located in windows folder c colon windows folder path i'm going to navigate to windows folder and then type run is a command to rename the folder just type soft press tab key and it will complete software distribution space soft space dot b a k so i'm going to rename this folder to software distribution dot b a k hit enter and now the folder is renamed to software distribution dot b a k just check out if the software distribution folder is renamed you can see software distribution folder is renamed now we can start the service net space start space w u a u s e r v to start the service hit enter and the service is started new folder is created now it will start downloading the new updates from windows update site and then it will distribute and it will start the installation so you have to check if this particular method is working for you or not if this method is working you don't have to follow another method you just skip next methods but i would request you to please stay with me to watch all the methods and to troubleshoot this particular issue if the previous methods are not working we have to check if any corrupt files are there or not and to check the corrupt files and to fix them and we have to use the command i'm going to show you just a type cmd in the search box you have to log in with administrator account and open the command prompt with administrator rights to run this particular command so it will ask you for user account control permissions click on yes once this is open just type sfc space slash scan now and it will check if any corruption is there corrupt files are there and it will try to fix those particular files it will take around 10 to 15 minutes and you don't have to pause this verification and don't interrupt this process so that it will check files and it will fix for for you guys so just follow this process and let this process complete and then check if your issue is resolved or not if issues still not resolved you have to follow another method that i am going to show you so if last method that is sfc scan now method does not works we have to follow another method and that is we have to open the command prompt with the administrative privileges first to follow the next method so i'm going to open the command prompt just click on the search box and then open the command prompt with administrative rights 
So type cmd in the search box and then right click on the command prompt and then click on the run as administrator. It will open the command prompt with administrative privileges and then type the command dism space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space restore health. So this is the command you have to copy and paste on your windows 10 machine if you want to copy this command just check out the description just hit enter and then it will start so this tool is going to check if any system files are corrupt or not if corruption is there it is going to replace those particular files with the newer ones and it will improve the health of your windows 10 computer it's gonna take some time like of 10 to 15 minutes and meanwhile i'm going to pause the recording and will come back once this step is finished and we'll check if the issue is resolved or not here if the issue is not resolved we have to follow another method that i am going to show you so if last method is not working this method is pretty much easy to follow and we have to do some mouse clicks and use and your issue could be resolved so right click on windows then click on the settings click on the update and security click on the troubleshoot scroll down and then click on the windows updates and run the troubleshooter so it will check if any issues are there with windows updates and it will try to troubleshoot the issue automatically so that's it for this video if you like this video please hit the like button please hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos thanks and bye bye